Hi everyone. This uni udon is inspired by a dish at Surutantan, a restaurant near Union Square here in New York City. It truly changed my previous understanding of udon. It has such a unique, satisfying, and addicting taste that kept me a frequent visitor of the restaurant despite of the long lines. To satisfy my cravings, I had decided to try to make it at home. A key part of this dish is the creamy, delicious soup base. Let's start with that. Bonito flakes is a type of dried tuna flakes. This seaweed sheet is the one you use to roll sushis or kimbaps. I have linked Amazon links to these ingredients in the description box, but I found they are usually a lot cheaper in local Asian stores compared to Amazon. Try to get them in your local Asian stores if they are available. These are fresh uni, or sea urchins. They have a very buttery taste with a tiny bit of sweetness. You can find them in Asian grocery stores like H Mart or Sunrise Mart. You'll need 2 ounces of uni for this recipe. Add 1.5 ounces of uni into a blender with heavy cream. and blend them on high speed for about 30 seconds. Set that aside and let's repair the udon. First, boil a decent amount of water. Once it comes to a boil, add in your udon. I talked about a few different kinds of udon you can purchase in the curry udon video. Click the link above if you want to check it out. These noodles are already cooked. You don't need to boil them for long. As long as they are soft, you can turn off the stove and drain the udon. Then gently wash them in ice water, just to get rid of some extra starch on the surface to make the noodles extra chewy. Drain the noodles again. And pour them into the serving bowl. In Surutontan, they used shiso leaves. I couldn't find any, so I used basil instead. Thirty minutes later, the soup base is ready. Drain out the ingredients. And add in the uni cream mixture.
Heat up the mixture to 160 degrees. Make sure to not let it come to a boil. The cream will start clogging at about 180 degrees. You don't want that. Remove it from the stove as soon as it reaches 160 degrees. Pour the hot soup onto the noodle. Add the rest of the 0.5 ounces uni on top, along with basil and caviar. Look at that. Let me give it a try. Oops, I forgot salt. Don't forget to add salt to the soup mixture when you heat it up. Okay, now let me try. Mmm, amazing. You just made a $30 bowl of udon at home, and it's fairly easy. I hope you'll like it. I will see you next time.